And we're back on the source. The Naga Regional Police is often called upon to respond to mental health crises. Here to talk about the team that is responsible for that and which also works with local agencies to respond to these crises. We have Constable Brad Roots from the Naga Regional Police. Welcome, Brad. Hi, thanks for having me. So Brad, let's talk about how you became involved in this mental health crisis response team. Uh, well, the way the, the program works is uh, the CMHA pairs a social worker with a constable on the road uh, in the Niagara region, um, specifically in St. Catharines, one district. Uh, and to be eligible to be one of those uh, officers that work in the program, uh, you have to uh, complete 40 hours of uh, crisis intervention training put on by, uh, by the CMHA. Uh, and once, once you do that, you're part of the pool of officers that uh, any given day will be riding, uh, riding in the same cruiser with a, a social worker and attending mental health calls for service. So that social worker actually rides along in the cruiser with you for the duration of your shift? That's correct. Yeah. And uh, so when we show up at uh, these calls with uh, these uh, vul people of this vulnerable sector who are experienced crisis in crisis, uh, we have somebody on hand who's uh, legitimately an expert in the situation. How long has this been going on? I believe 2015 was the, uh, the inception of the program. I don't have the exact figures with me. Um, you'd have to contact the CMHA. But I know the last interview I did for this, uh, it was something... Uh, uh, a, approximately a 70% success rate of when we've attended calls for service regarding mental health people in crisis, of uh, diverting them from either being arrested or being apprehended and sent to the hospital. Um, so what, what we mean by diverted is we've been able to connect them with outreach programs in the community uh, that have uh, better resources for what they require uh, to get assistance and, and to get some treatment. You're in the car with someone from CMHA. The only thing that you respond to then, I would imagine, are these mental health oriented crises. You wouldn't respond to a violent incident, for instance, with that CMHA person in the car with you? Uh, the, the mandate is to uh, go to the mental health calls for service. Right now, it is uh, specifically directed towards one district in St. Catharines. And uh, I'm not there anymore. I'm uh, currently in Niagara Falls in two district. But when I was there, I can tell you that there was enough calls for service that uh, for in mental health related calls for service that that unit pretty much doesn't have time to go to any other calls anyway. Can you give us an idea of what some of the uh, organizations are that you work with through this program other than CMHA? Uh, well, there's um, Coast, Safe Beds. Um, and then uh, some of the other just community outreach program, like uh, the housing programs uh, and uh, the community uh, programs that provide food for and shelter for people. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of them, a lot, a lot of them, they, they're reaching out for help. It's not necessarily because uh, they are, uh, they want to deal with the police. They're just reaching out for help in general. And uh, obviously we're one of uh, a, an easy, accessible um, organization to get a hold of. Have you found it very successful on suicide calls? Definitely, definitely. Um, I've been on. Uh, I've I've personally been on a few calls where uh, we were able to successfully uh, um, talk or convince people uh, out of uh, making hopefully a decision they can't reverse, and uh, that that's obviously a really good feeling for us. And and uh, we again it. Riding with the expert helps a lot. I've learned uh, I've learned an unbelievable amount from riding with the social workers. Uh, things that I, I would have never known just if it was two police officers uh, attending the calls by ourselves. 